Washington Justice Department officials have indicated they do not believe the department can regulate the sale of gun bump stocks without congressional action, underscoring concern that an ongoing administrative review into that question is little more than an effort to slow roll a politically divisive issue. The Justice Department announced this month that it would review whether bump stocks, a firearm accessory that can turn a semi-automatic rifle into a full-fledged machine gun, are prohibited under a federal statute that outlaws fully automatic weapons. The review was prompted by the October mass shooting in Las Vegas, where gunman Stephen Paddock outfitted semi-automatic weapons with bump stocks to kill 58 concertgoers on the Strip. But private and public comments from Justice Department officials following the October shooting suggest there is little appetite within the agency to regulate bump stocks, regardless of pressure from the Trump administration. Critics worry that whatever energy there is will fade over the holiday season. Senator Dianne Feinstein of California, the leading Democrat on the Senate Judiciary Committee and co-author of a bill to ban the devices, noted that the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives has said that current law does not allow the agency to ban or regulate bump fire stocks. The ATF is the lead enforcement agency on the issue within the Justice Department. The ATF director recently said the same thing to local police chiefs, MS. Feinstein said there's no need for another review. It's hard to believe this is anything other than another way for Republicans to stall congressional action. Wynne Hornbuckle, a Justice Department spokesman, said, The Attorney General has stated clearly that we will go through the regulatory process that is required by law to determine whether or not certain bump stock devices are covered by the prohibition on the possession of firearm parts used exclusively in converting a weapon into a machine gun. We are committed to a deliberate and thorough review he added. The ATF referred all questions regarding the bump stock review to the Justice Department. Those hoping to limit bump stocks are losing what little momentum they had in Congress. A once narrow, bipartisan effort to limit the sale of the device has diffused into other gun control measures after another mass shooting, on November 5, in Sutherland Springs, Texas, highlighted the gaps in the government's background check system. Thomas Brandon, the acting director of the ATF, told members of the Senate Judiciary Committee earlier this month that it was a possibility that bump stocks could be considered as a restricted device understanding regulations that ban machine guns, and that the ATF could regulate them without action from Congress. If that wasn't a possibility at the end, we wouldn't initiate this process, Mr. Brandon said of the review. But since the Las Vegas shooting, Mr. Brandon and other ATF officials have indicated repeatedly both publicly and in private that they do not believe that possibility exists. Instead, they say, legislation from Congress will be required.